Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am Miss Shopslot and I thrift for resale and for myself and family members. So if you like that kind of thing, this is what I do here. Uh, I do have a haul today. Excuse Miss Coco barking down there. I do have a haul that is garage sale, estate sale, and thrift store. Uh, I went to this estate sale. Now, I am not a fan of estate sales. A lot of times they are crazy busy and people are just super rude. Well, I went to this one and they're very expensive. And, you know, I'm looking in the bathroom. There's stuff laid out in the bathroom and they kept coming in and looking at me like, like, uh, yes, <laughs> am I not supposed to be in here? I don't understand. And it, it was just a weird vibe. And I didn't know I had to pay for certain things in certain areas. There's like no signs or anything. So I'm like walking up the stairs with jewelry in my hand and some other things. And then, oh, you got to pay down here. And I'm like, okay. And they just weren't very nice. And I probably will never go to one of their sales again. Um, but with that being said, I did pick up a couple of things and they were priced very high. Uh, shoes were $25 and some were worth it. Some weren't, uh, clothes were all 20, $25. It was kind of insanely expensive and they were left with a lot left. So, but anyway, let's get into my haul. This was from a garage sale. This was, oh, avalanche. Okay. This was a dollar. I just thought it was pretty. It's just a little, um, the, like kimono type thing. I love sequins. It's got the bat wing style. I just thought it was pretty. With a tank, white tank top and some jeans. I picked up these shoes. These are the only shoes I bought and these were definitely worth it. These were 20, 20 or $25. I can't remember. And they are coach clogs with the studs i love these these are my size they did have another pair of coat shoes but they were broken and they're still asking 25 dollars for them but these are brand new these are like brand new so i picked these up for myself uh all right random this here we'll do okay we'll do these because they're kind of in the way this is amazing. This sells for like $50. I haven't decided if I'm between 30 and 50. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep or resell him, but I am obsessed with him. He is pewter and mahogany. I think it is. I paid $7 for him. He's got these markings. Um, I forget who made them, made him, but he is, he is a very expensive piece. I think retail he was like a hundred and something, but I just thought he was amazing. So I'm going to be hard pressed to sell that. I really am. I, I do really kind of love him. This piece was a surprise. This is Nora Fleming. This was also $7 stoneware. And this is, it looks like this. It's brand new. So what this is, this is expensive too. This is like a hundred and something dollars. And then each of these pieces are sold separately. And you just take this piece. It's got a little stick on the end. This is a pear and this is a flower. And you stick it in here for decoration. But these are expensive Nora Fleming. Nora Fleming. Um, okay, so this was all from the garage sale. I paid 30 for this box. There was some other stuff in it. And it is all Josie Marin. I threw some of it out because it was literally like nothing. Um, some of them I'm already using. They were just duplicates. I probably got five of these, five more of these um, Josie Marin oils, which I absolutely love. So, yeah, I paid $30 for this box. They're just messy because there was a broken eyelash, eyebrow eyeshadow jeez. Oh, so yeah i got like five or i think i got five or six of these strawberry whipped cream and then this is the um pure argan oil i love josie marin stuff uh i kept all the stuff that was brand new throughout the stuff that was like very little left and they were like trying to get eight dollars i was like there's literally a swipe of your finger left in this gigantic jar and he was like 
it's eight dollars i was like okay well i'll just put it all back and he was like just give me 30 for everything i'm like all right that's better uh this is a josie marin um self tanning oil this is the whipped argan oil uh this is tanning oil this is tanning oil. I'll give these to my daughter. I won't use the tanning oil. This is Westmore Beauty Body Coverage Perfector. I think this is stuff that covers up like tattoos and stuff. I could be wrong. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, la, 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 la. Argan oil. Something was leaking to clean this up. But yeah, there was a thing. This is the Divine Drip Argan Oil and Honey Butter Balm. It was a used eyeshadow palette that broke. Whipped argan oil. These are all brand new. Uh, this is the whipped argan oil. And this is more tanning oil. And lastly, this is the face butter. Also, I picked this up. This is Estee Lauder Youth Do Bath Oil. I don't know how much it's worth. I threw it in the box. And this, this is used. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, that was unflattering of me. I'm going to um, clean all this out and repot my own lipsticks. I think this is lipstick. Highlighter. I don't know. Highlight? You would use a red highlight? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to clean all that out, clean it nice and good, and repot it with my own stuff. So that was that. Um, this I did pick up the day before, and I paid $3 for this, which is so crazy because all this stuff was way more expensive. And this is Chanel Tanning Oil Sheer Illuminating Fluid Sun Kissed. Uh, this is brand new. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep or resell that. Anytime I find the True Blue Spa, I buy this stuff because this stuff tends to sell well because they no longer make it. Well, some of it they no longer make. This is the True Blue Spa Vanilla Almond Super Rich Body Butter. This was a dollar at a garage sale. Uh, this is Luminous Airbrush Makeup. This was a dollar. I've, I've bought this stuff before and resold it. And there's some uh, face stuff. And then I think that's blush. I bought this for myself and my daughter. And I tried it, but I couldn't. I, it's not worth my time. So I will be reselling that. I got this for my daughter. It is Perfectly Posh Witchy Wash Shower Jelly. I see this perfectly posh a lot at garage sales now, and um, I don't know if it has a resale value or not. Miss Coco hears me up here, and she is freaking out. She wants to be up here so bad. This is Emma Hardy Midas Touch Revitalizing Cream. I paid a dollar for that. I don't remember what this was worth. I will have to look it up, but I bought it to resell. These are both Sugar Baby. I got, see if Erica wants them. If not, then I will resell these. It is the Sugar Baby Self Believable, Sun Believable, Dark Bronze Self Tanning Mousse. And these were a dollar a piece, brand new. These I know are expensive. These were a dollar a piece. And these are Dancing with the Stars Norvell self-tanning airbrush mist um performance self-tanning airbrush mist these were a buck a piece these again i'll either see if she wants them or i will resell them one is endurance and one is performance i don't know oh color boosting skin perfector and then self-tanning airbrush mist so these are expensive i bought those to resell this is just a little brush that she gave me for free um I think it's just like Ulta Boots. Yeah, it's just Ulta Beauty. So that for myself. This I thought was gorgeous. This was um, $10, but I offered her five. It is a Swarovski Activity tra Tracker jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> um, and these are pretty expensive. So this is the crystal set. And it is analyzes your sleep, tracks your steps, watch function, 
no charging. It's got a watch function. How? One sports band. Oh, wait a minute. Is this just the band and you're supposed to have the... No, the crystal is the activity. I don't know. But I thought it was really pretty. And they resell pretty well. So this will be going up. This is a great time to put it up for Christmas presents. People are Christmas shopping soon. Uh, these were private eyes. I just thought they were neat. Little sunglasses. And these were 50 cents. So I picked these up. We'll see if they're, they sell. These are Mo Mozart. Oh, these are Neo style. These are Mozart by Neo style. And if they don't sell, I'll take them to my little consignment shop because they're perfect style for them. These I picked up for my daughter, Jeffree Star drinking straws. They were a dollar. I like the matte black. So maybe I'll keep that one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she won't get these. I don't know. I don't support Jeffree Star. I don't really care one way or another about him. So those were a dollar. Uh, this cute little onyx ring was three dollars. It's just a cutie. Little cutie. Sterling silver, if I can get it to... It doesn't want to... There we go. Uh, this was from a garage sale. Oh, no. This was actually from the flea market. I'm sorry. This was from the flea market. This was from a garage sale. I have to go through these, but there's all kind. I believe there was... I believe there's gold earrings in here. I think... If I'm not mistaken, I'm not going to go through all these. I paid 50 cents for the bag. But I believe there was like two or three pairs of gold earrings. Hold on. I know that the ones... One of these were gold. One of these were gold. And I think like these... These little snowflakes were gold. But I'll go through these and I'll, I'll look at the little ivory elephants. Okay, so those are 50 cents. This was from the flea market. I paid a total of $3 for everything in this bag. Or was it $2? No, you know what? It was, these were 50 cents a piece. Because I remember which guy I got this from. I got this, which was a steal, but it's missing... It's missing one, but I bought another one that was missing a couple, so I'm just going to replace it and put it in there. But it's a little potted plant, it looks like. And it is sterling vintage. Um, that this guy, I don't know if it's sterling or what. I tried to look. I, ha I don't think he is, but this was 50 cents. This necklace is sterling. This was 50 cents. I know they missed these. It's got an odd hook on it. Oh, sorry. It's got an odd... Um, why is this? Oh, that's why. But does say something Italy? What does it say? S Italy? Oh yeah, it says 925. Here. So this one was sterling. And this one what's marked? I don't think this was marked, but it was really good quality, so I picked it up just in case. I gotta look better over it. Um, for 50 cents, it's still pretty necklace. So that's all the, that stuff. Now we'll get into the purses. This one was five. It's, I love the color. It is Kate Spade. It is like the Tiffany blue green ish color. Um, very good condition. It has the long strap. It's got the two pockets and the back just has a couple of marks which I believe I can get off right here and right there 
So this definitely will be for resale. These two I bought from a garage sale. She wanted $10 a piece for them. And I wasn't sure at first. I looked them up and I ran back and got them. I was like, done, $10 a piece. Um, it's Tuscan's leather. Uh, they're beautiful. She said they, she bought them in Italy. Uh, they are these beautiful leather bags. Um, this one is like a doctor bag. And these sell between like two and $300. These are like new. She said, um, I don't think she ever used them. And then it's got where you can put a thing in there. It's got a uh, combination. But, I mean, these are gorgeous. There's this style and then um, this other style. One second. But, yes, I will definitely be reselling these for the holidays i want to say she bought them for luggage but never used them and then there's this one this one is really nice this is the doctor bag such gorgeous quality and, and craftsmanship. She said they're all handmade in Italy and just beautiful leather. So again, this one will be for sale as well. It's got little feet. It's got to have little feet. Yeah, it's got little feet. So if somebody's bougie and travels like that, these would be perfect. <laughs> Um, and last but not least, I got this Gucci purse. I paid $30 for it. It's a little more worn than I would have expected, than I expected. Um, it's still very nice. It's a little smaller than I expected to, but, um, I think I'm going to resell this. Um, so it is this soft leather Gucci, it's a Gucci Isma. I can't Gucci's Gucci Isma. But like some of it has worn, but it actually kind of looks cool. Um it's just a, it's it's not really worn I don't know. But see how it's like this part is rubbed in some areas, but it actually works. Like looks nice. It is authentic. Like I said, I paid thirty dollars online. I just, it's not really big enough for me. It's got the numbers and everything. I don't know. I'm most likely going to resell it. So that's my haul today. I hope you liked it. And if you do, please hit the like button, share, subscribe. If you want to see more, hit the bell. If you're not getting alerted, I know I had quite a few people tell me that they didn't even know I was making videos anymore because they were never coming up in their feed. So hit the bell if you want to see more. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.